we need to talk about these jackets. They present a really interesting and really important legal issue. So fun fact about me, I was an NFL shop buyer for five, six years. And not just NFL shop, NBA store, NHL, MLB, a bunch of colleges, and even like Team USA, Ryder Cup. I don't think a lot of people realize, but Fanatics actually runs all of those stores. Back in my day, we didn't do any of the licensing, which is a separate piece of this conversation. But essentially, approved manufacturers and vendors would come to us, show us their lines, basically the products that they're going to make. We give them feedback based on what we think will sell. We decide how many units of each item and what items we don't want to buy and which items we do want to buy negotiate deals with them, and then place orders for millions of dollars for the product that then eventually ends up on the website. And I did this for like five or six years. I only did NFL outerwear when I was an assistant and that was only a year of my time there. And I also wanna say that I haven't been there for five or six years now. I've left to pursue other things in my career, but I guarantee you there are conversations happening by these suppliers so if you're interested in knowing the potential ways this could go from an insider, you just let me know. I'll tell you all the different ways this could go.